Hi, I'm Dustin from C4 Labs, and I'm going to show you how to put together a case I just designed for the Pine 64 that actually integrates both the screen and the battery into a pretty compact package. This is something that uh, took a little while to figure out, and I'm pretty excited to share with you guys. First, you'll start with actually a, a bunch of the pieces with the paper on them. So just go ahead and start by peeling off that protective paper to begin with. After that, you'll have uh, the screen O. It'll have a matte side and a shiny side. Now, I prefer just to have the matte side facing outward because that'll help hide any fingerprints or dirt. And the very first thing you'll do is assemble the corner brackets. Now, the corner brackets will be the clear piece and the black piece. And they'll have the longer screws. You can see here there's in the kit a short... So, uh, it's kind of like a sh slightly shorter screw, but you want to grab the longer of the two screws. So make sure you set the shorter screws off to the side. And then just have your little bracket like this, so. You'll put the screen right in the O piece, and it'll just sort of snugly sit on down in the center there. You might need to jig a little bit, but it'll fit pretty pretty well. Then take all of your corner bracket pieces and add them to the assembly. Now what I do is actually put my fingers over the top ones and just flip it all over real quick so that we can do the rest of the case. The next piece will be the clear layer. You want to make sure that you slip the cables in around it so it's not pinching the cables. And then for the back color plate, we'll put these screws in. Again, it's the longer of the two sizes. They'll go in the hole and then the nut will just tighten down on top of the matte side. So again, there's a matte side and a shiny side. You want to make sure the nut is on the matte side along with the end of the screws. And just tighten those down snugly. And then this little cutout will go towards the cables. Again, you want to slip those cables in around that plate so nothing gets pinched. And at this point, we can add the nuts to the corner bracket screws, and this will help hold everything together. Don't necessarily need to tighten them down at this point, just loosely stick them all in. It's always the last one. Okay. Next, we're going to take our battery and with the outlet cables facing like so, we just snap it down in there. And next we need to add the board. The board actually needs to be attached to these two cables and when it's sitting down the main ribbon cable for the screen is going to be wrapped around like so. And the easiest way to do it is actually have your display connector facing up and then stick the display cable in it sort of upside down. 
I don't know if you can see this, but it'll fit in like so. And then what we do is we just sort of gently spin that board around and its holes will line up with those screws so it just sort of rests on top there. Get the ethernet cable out of the way and then the other little cable has to go to the opposite end of the board. And I think this one is a little easier to add after the board has been set down. just like so. And now, well actually, what I should have done first is this battery cable slips down around this notch here so that it actually comes out the side. So, set the board down again. that little connector in and next what we do is we actually take these little standoffs and screw them in top of the screws oh whoops okay scratch that don't do that yet we're gonna put the side plates in first now these will have little notches and they'll just slip into the case and if you lift the board up slightly it'll allow everything to tuck in next to the board. Um, the SD card one will have a little hole. I would recommend removing your SD card but as long as you're careful you can slip it in around it. Um, it's also worth noting that these pieces have an up and a down so in one direction it won't fit that's the case just spin it around and it'll snug on in there so now after you have the side pieces put in then add these standoffs If you want to, you can use a pair of pliers to tighten these just a little bit. It's not necessary, but it'll help things from coming loose. And then we have these upper colored pieces, and they will fit into notches from the side plates. cable back off to the side so it looks all pretty like so and then 
top clear piece in. And again, we add the little nuts. To begin with, I just screw these down with my fingers gently. And then what I do is actually use my thumb and pushing down, I, I twist my thumb. So I'm using just a little bit of friction on the end of my thumb to twist. If they feel like they're catching, that's because they the color layer and the clear layer aren't perfectly lined up. You just sort of wiggle them and it'll help that nut get past that part. And then if, again, if you have a pair of pliers, you can actually tighten up just a little bit. And the very last thing we do is we take those shorter screws and we stick them through the middle here. And then a nut will go on the back end. And this might be a good time to grab your screwdriver. You'll want a small Phillips screwdriver to tighten all these screws down. As long as I'm here, I'll tighten these corner brackets. The nuts on the back have enough friction that they shouldn't spin. If you hold on to the back of them, that'll help them hold tight. And we do the same to the other side. And at this point we can plug our battery in. It will have just enough length to plug down into that connector. And that is the completed case. So, enjoy!